Operation Castle is the Navy's contribution to the overall operations south of New Zealand. That's headed by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and so our part within that is to bring the Ministry of Primary Industries as the experts in all things fish to come with us and be those subject matter experts. So the Navy in this case is a delivery asset as an enabler. At the same time trying to deter all the unlicensed fishing vessels, which thankfully we've been able to do for at least the last two years. So Targo left New Zealand uh, middle of November. We routed down towards Dunedin and from there we've operated south over the whole Christmas, New Year holiday period. Over that time we've been launching boarding parties, inspecting vessels, checking their catch, checking their documentation. But really that's only part of it. The biggest part is ensuring that all the conservation measures are met. So that includes everything from waste management to good maritime pollution prevention measures making sure that they're actually looking after this part of the world because it's, it's all about not only the fish, it's about the entire package, it's protecting this continent and all of its resources. Part of the design of the offshore patrol vessel was to bring into account the fact that we can operate from the equator right down here to the pole. The Navy hasn't really operated in these sorts of extremes for the last 40 years. It's only been the last two or three years that we've really started to get back down here again. And that brings a number of challenges. And it's not just the ship design, but that's also the way we operate. So it's, it's something new and it's something very challenging. These ships are designed to be able to push ice around, but in moderate conditions. They're not ice breakers, they're ice strengthened. This season we've learned a lot, really finding out where the capabilities of this ship is. Obviously we've got a lot more cold weather gear available to us now and you're probably going to see that a whole bunch of our guys and girls have got all sorts of different coloured gear on as we trial new pieces of equipment and make sure we're getting the right piece of kit. But that's just one of the many lessons that we're learning as we go through and one thing the Navy prides itself on is being able to learn a lesson very quickly and adapt to change. So the offshore patrol vessel is obviously well suited to this kind of role. We've got space, we've got a lot of capability, we've got two jet boats on board, room for a helicopter or other air assets, but also wider New Zealand defence force. There are Army here, there are Air Force here, we've got the P3 Orion on call should we need it. So it's not just a Navy deal, this is a whole of New Zealand approach to our responsibilities on the Antarctic continent. Although the Antarctic is nobody's and at the same time it's everybody's. So while it's not anybody's patch, it's on our beat, if you like. The fact that we're sending an 85 metre offshore patrol vessel with 60 odd people on it, 2,000 miles south of New Zealand into the Ross Sea, that's a big thing for a country like New Zealand to be doing. So I think that really speaks volumes for how important we think this part of the world is. The abundance of sea life, bird life, is really quite unique to this region and some of the things you see down here you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's a huge mix of emotions working down here and it's, uh, it's hard to describe. It's violent, it's beautiful, it's epic, it's horrible. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, just in complete awe and loving it all the time. It's, um, you never get tired of the view. It's, it grows on you this place, that's for sure. One thing I do think is really important is that people understand that we're not just down here sort of doing our thing nine to five, this is a 24 seven operation. And it's really quite challenging for those guys and girls who come down here. But not only that, we've just spent Christmas and New Year's away from our families, our friends, our loved ones. So that does take its toll, but it's a reality. And it's something we accept, it's something our partners and, and co have to wear the front of. And you know, so I think a lot of the kudos for what we managed to achieve when we go away belong to our family because we couldn't do it without them.